Why exactly do people think Earth is flat? Flat Earthers have probably existed for thousands of years, but less of them exist now thanks to, well, science. Disclaimer, Earth is round, but it's worth it to explore where this conspiracy theory originates and why something like this can become real to so many people. My name is Isaiah Hernandez and this is Queer Brown Vegan. My platform is to bring you environmental education that's focusing on the intersectional issues rather than ignore them. If you like what you see here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it helps me grow my channel and bring you more educational content. There's a long history, centuries ago, before scientists scientific advancements and documented global exploration, it was sort of mainstream to believe that the Earth was flat. People had limited knowledge and observations and couldn't use things like Google Maps. And these ancient perspectives were based on what people could perceive with their eyes and thus flat earth was unofficially created. Some people just still hold on to this. And if you imagine people seeing the horizon, that it looks flat or feeling that the earth doesn't seem to move, which is because of gravity, that makes it seem like earth is flat. You also have a general rise in conspiracy theories and skepticism. In today's age of widespread information, there's a growing skepticism towards establishing scientific principles. People can seek out and listen to independent voices that can win in popularity contests regardless of sources. It especially comes when people have these big personalities. Some people broadly reject scientific consensus and instead of gravitate towards conspiracy theories, believing that the information from the governments and scientific institutions is manipulated or false. There's a general distrust in authority figures and experts, leading some to reject scientific evidence about around Earth. Sometimes information does get manipulated, but one thing to look for is peer review. Now, there's also a community and identity that comes with this belief. This is something that resonates with all humans, communities around shared beliefs. The flat earth belief has formed into this, offering a sense of belonging and shared identity. Within these communities, there's a reinforcement of beliefs, making it a challenging for people to accept evidence that would disrupt that. Social media has brought this to another level by providing platforms for diverse viewpoints, regardless if if it's factual or not. This is sometimes leads to the spread of misinformation and the amplification of fringe beliefs, including the flat earth theories. Is it the most problematic perspective in the world? No, I don't think so, but the problem could be the deeper distrust that it brings out. Scientists have told us for decades about the risks of climate change, especially now, and it's an extra challenge when you have a public that distrusts them. As an environmental and social issues continue happening, our ability to solve these issues relies on good information. For people to identify with fringe sources, it's not always grounded in reality with other people. And if you know a flat earther, Talk to them about what they think, and but don't get too carried away with them because they can talk a lot. We have a duty as climate media creative scientists, advocates, to be able to really push back against misinformation. I mean, it was recently found here on YouTube that YouTube is pushing climate denialism videos. And if you Google flat earth theory, you'll find tons of conspiracy videos, typically by older white men, or also different people talking about these beliefs. I mean, there's also, I believe, a Flat Earth conference that is hosted here in the United States for Flat Earthers. And there's a lot of videos of people who have gone to those conferences just to document what happens. And it's very scary to see the amount of people. I mean, like if you look from the Flat Earth theory to even the Hollow Earth theory, that's something that's another topic to talk about. I think it is important to know that while these beliefs back then in the 2000s may have seemed harmless and they're made fun of in other popular sitcom TV shows or even in animated shows um, with Netflix, it's important to understand that climate education today is being threatened. Um, obviously, we've seen with Florida banning um, certain types of climate education and providing models from PragerU Foundation around um, you know, comparing climate change activists to Nazis or saying that solar 
farms are just as bad. I think these are examples that we are fighting against and I think conspiracy theories, as much as we laugh at them, there are so many people who have lost their lives, people's families who have been separated by these types of harmful beliefs. And I think it is important that we work together to understand where that distrust is coming from. And a lot of it is the institutional failed resources that are often being provided to these people that are obviously poor. And don't get me wrong, I mean, like I, when I was studying as a teenager, I looked into a lot of climate change um, conspiracy theories, but this is based in the late 2000s and I was just interested in learning and just being like, is this is global warming real or is it actually like fake or is it actually real? And I, I obviously found so much information to prove it's real, but again like these were examples back then even in the 2000s as a kid it's like there wasn't that much climate education resources for me to even look into and i could have easily fallen into that trap too and luckily i majored in environmental science and took a lot of climate change courses but again i think that's just like another thing where it is our duty as creatives on here um, to support these platforms that talk about climate education that are 100% factual, that are 100% science, and also work with institutions and nonprofits and governments to help amplify these types of concerns. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video, leave a comment with something you'd like or other topics you'd like for me to explore. If you like this, I'll be back with more debunking videos in the future and I wanna hear your thoughts about the flat earth theory. What do you think about it? When did you first hear about it? And do you feel that climate misinformation is getting worse on social media platforms? I'd love to know your comments below.